Let's take a look how to make a badge logo mockup on a hat here in Photoshop. This was inspired from the previous tutorial where I presented how to make embroidered badge with parametric filters in Photoshop Beta. If you want to learn how to apply this parametric filter in Photoshop Beta, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So I'm going to go with this image as a reference. This is my artboard size and I'm going to need to remove this logo from here. So I'm going to select the lasso tool, but check this out. We've got a new tool in Photoshop Beta, which is the selection brush tool. So anyways, I'm going to select it. Very easy to use. And I'm going to go to the contextual taskbar, click on generate fill, generate, and check this out. It removed the logo here on the right side. You can switch it up and search for the best one that you like. And now I'm going to go back to the badge with the embroidery and I'm going to select the badge layer and drag it into the other tab with the mockups and I'm going to drag and drop it here. Now the problem is if I make the badge directly here or if I drag and drop it from another tab and I'm going to scale it down, enter, as you can see, it is going to mess it up quite a bit, but you also can go to the parametric filter settings and increase the density of the threads all the way up, but it's still going to look messed up quite a bit. So instead of that, what we're going to do is go back to the original badge. I'm also going to decrease the density here a little bit to make the threads bigger because it's going to be scaled down on a smaller proportion. And from here to make this work, I'm going to press Control Shift plus Alt plus E. And check this out, it merged all the layers in one single new layer, which is not even a smart object. So anyways, I'm going to drag this layer into the other tab with the mockup and drag and drop it here. And I'm also going to go to the layer with the badge, I right click on it, convert a smart object, rename it. And now I'm going to go press control T, scale it down and double click and check this out. It remained with the same proportions. So I'm going to press control T, rotate it, position it, and also try to put it in perspective as much as possible and arrange it as best as possible. I think this is pretty good already. I think this orange color from the hat is too strong. So I'm going to select the layer with the batch here. Let's go to the adjustments and I'm going to go to the hue saturation and I'm gonna decrease the saturation a little bit more like so. All right, so let's go back to the badge. I'm gonna double click on the badge layer and we're gonna to need to create that illusion that the badge is getting pressed into the material of the hat. So let's go to the drop shadow and activate the drop shadow. And here the blend mode should be a multiply. I'm gonna to go to the distance and arrange it a little bit. We're gonna to go to the angle and position it something like this. So because of the light is coming from the top right corner, it is going to create the darker shadow here when it's getting compressed. So this should be the angle and also make sure to uncheck the use global light. And I'm gonna increase the size. And I'm also gonna change up the black color. And with the eyedropper tool, probably gonna to go here and choose some dark brown. There you go, click OK. All right, so we got the right side of the badge, but as you can see, the left side of the badge, it is still flat in there. So we're going to need to create a new drop shadow here. And I'm going to go back to the drop shadow, click on the plus. So now we got a new drop shadow. For example, I'm going to select the top one and I'm going to go to the angle and switch it into the opposite direction. Probably I'm going to go with uh, 45. Make sure that the global light is unchecked. And here we're going to need to make a light color. So I'm going to go to the multiply, change up the color. I'm going to go with the eyedropper tool, select something lighter. Actually, not from here, but from here, because we're going to need the colors of the hat. Click OK. And I'm going to go and change up the blend mode. I'm going to go with screen. The opacity is 68. I'm going to decrease the distance a little bit and increase the size a little bit more. I'm going to go back to the other drop shadow and also increase the distance a little bit more. All right, so it starts to look pretty good. And next, we're going to need to work with the inner shading of the badge. So let's go and activate the inner shadow. And here I'm going to add a little bit more shadow. I'm going to go with the angle at somewhere around minus 135. And let me see distance. I'm going to decrease it something like this. I'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit more. Now, but at least I'm going to need to create another inner shadow. Click on the plus and I'm going to go and change up the color with the eyedropper tool. I'm going to select some light color. There you go. Click OK and change up the blend mode to screen. And I'm also going to change up the angle into the opposite direction. I'm going to decrease the distance a little bit more. Nine, probably increase the size and decrease the opacity more and click OK. And check this out, it looks way more realistic. I'm probably gonna add some gradient also on the badge. I'm gonna double click on the badge layer and I'm gonna activate the gradient overlay. With the angle, I'm gonna go with 45. So the light area should be here, the dark should be here. And I'm gonna click on the gradient and I'm gonna change the black to white. Click OK and click on this handle and I'm gonna decrease the opacity to zero. 
click OK. And I'm going to decrease the opacity 30 ish. So that is looking pretty realistic already. But mainly this is how I make it. Thanks for watching.